Question 14 says a heat engine operates in a Carnot cycle between 82 degrees Celsius and 340 degrees Celsius. It absorbs 21,600 joules of energy per cycle from the hot reservoir. The duration of each cycle is 4 seconds. A. What is the mechanical power output of this engine? And B. How much energy does it expel in each cycle by heat? So let's go ahead and write down what we know from the problem and then we'll look at the question again. So the temperature of the coal cycle is 82 degrees Celsius. The temperature of the hot cycle is 340 degrees Celsius. And so that translates to 355.15 Kelvin and 613.15 Kelvin respectively. It also says that it absorbs 21,600 joules of energy from the hot reservoir. So our our QH is going to equal 21,600 joules. And finally, it gives us a period of time. So the change of time is equal to 4 seconds. So then it asks us, what is the mechanical power output of the engine? So the power output of the engine is equal to the work divided by time. So we got to solve for the work. And so we got from our, from our equations for the efficiency of of an engine we derived a few things so we we know that the work is equal to is equal to the the uh, energy transferred by heat from the hot cycle uh, minus minus the energy transferred by heat uh, by heat from the cold cycle from the cold reservoir and we know what the the energy transferred by heat from the hot reservoir is because it tells us it's 21,600 but what we don't know right away is what the energy transferred by heat from the cold reservoir is but we do know that this is on a Carnot cycle so it's running on maximum possible efficiency so that means that that the energy of the of the cold cycle the energy transferred by heat to the cold cycle divided by the energy transferred by heat from the hot cycle is equal to the temperature of the cold cycle divided by the temperature of the hot cycle. And so we can, we can use this equation to solve for QC and plug it in here to figure out what work is. Then we can plug in work there and we can figure out what the power output is. So now I've rearranged these so that we have them in order of steps. So this is step one, step two, and step three. And so we said that the temperature of the, so w what we're doing is we're solving for, for QC. And so all we got to do is take the TC over TH, multiply it by QH, and that equals QC. So the temperature of the cold cycle we said was 355.15. Divide that by, by 613.15 and multiply by, by 21,000. 600 and that equals that equals uh 12511.2 and and that's joules so that's q qc equals 12511.2 so then we can take qh which we just said was 21600 we can subtract qc which is 12511.2 and we can find out what the work done and the work was 9,088.804 joules. And now we just got to divide that by the change of time, which we said was 4 seconds. And we'll get the power output is equal to 2,272.201. So 0 0.201. And if we divide that by, we want the answer in kilojoules, not, and we want it in kilowatts, rather. And so um, we have to divide that by 1,000 to convert from watts to kilowatts. That's watts. And so that equals 2.272201 kilowatts. And then in part B it says how much energy does it expel in each cycle by heat? So uh, the energy expelled is the energy transferred to the cold cycle and so we said that that the energy transferred to the cold cycle was 12,511.2 joules and so it wants the answer in kilojoules so we just divide that by a thousand and we'll get 12.5112 kilojoules